I can actually say what is the American dream for me. Like I can get that out. And I can get it out because I can't believe that there is such a thing as a possibility even of what I hope for. To say it out loud would make it real. Like I believe that way. Like I speak something into reality and I can't get it out. So that tells me there's something really, really deep here about this. I know the work, I understand the work, I can do the work, I've been doing the work. I want to stay here and continue to do the work. But I'm having difficulty to speak out loud a dream for a better future or an end to this or even a slight, even a slight mitigation of this. Like that's so hard, I can't get the words without the emotion coming in the way. That's a nice baby can, we're good. Hold your girl and say, by the way, let me show you this what this is what happened. Right. We're looking for we expect of you. I see that to get to that point to make my dream come true would be I would need to and I can I intend to continue to share one on one with women. It's an opportunity to offer them a chance to speak. I feel like different races have different options. African American women get treated different, totally different. It shouldn't matter of what type of insurance you have, everyone should be treated the same way and with the same care. With the knowledge that I have about from the first delivery, I don't think that I'd be more comfortable at a hospital. I wanted a natural birth because I feel like that'll bring me closer closer to my baby. Every time I went for an appointment, it felt like I was being treated like a medical condition. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The history of black women in this country is still to this day playing out. And the legacy of the negativity of that history in so many areas, but especially in surrounding their health, continues to this day to plague us, to plague women and their families. I've only been here 25 years, but I am a black woman myself, and so I'm living the experience of being a black woman in America. We know the impact of slavery on women's health. Post-slavery, lack of access to health care, or healthcare providers, lack of providers who would service women of color. Being relegated in hospitals to basements or back entrances, having different types of care, having institutionalized approaches to how black women might be treated different to white women. That legacy continues even in modern day. Lack of choice, lack of empowerment, and this plays out continually. We see it in the statistics. We know that if you are black, if you are African American, you are likely to have a higher percentage of any ill. You could name it. It could be any cancer. It could be heart disease. Our biggest concern and interest to me is maternal health and child health. We see decade after decade of statistics that show disproportionately two times, three times, four times as many black women having worse outcomes as far as their maternity care. That in and of itself speaks to how important it is, how necessary it is for the change to come another way. Clearly, whatever efforts have been put towards doing something about it have not worked. Don't you want pain medicine? I'm like, if you have the best midwife, <laughs> that's your pain medicine.
with my firstborn, I basically went into a hospital and the experience was detrimental. It was not something that it would be glorious. Like you want to show everybody. I went to another hospital with my second child and the nurse was crazy. It was it was so bad when I was ready to push, she told me I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> you need to hold on until we find a doctor to get you and I don't know how to hold. <laughs> so when I'm ready to push, it's more like let's go. They already knew I was 10 centimeters, so they should already had everything pre-ready. They didn't have nothing ready. By the time the doctor walked in, I was past shoulders. So they already broke the bed down, meaning baby could have fallen out and hit the floor. And then my daughter, when I had her, went to the hospital again, same thing. When it was time to go up to labor and delivery, I couldn't because I started crowning. It was hard to sit down on the wheelchair. So, of course, policies. So I forced myself to sit down while I'm crowning, which was like, completely uncomfortable. When we got to labor and delivery, of course, I'm screaming for medicine. <laughs> At this point, they told me I couldn't. The nurse there, I don't know if it was out of spite or anger, she purposely gave me medication after delivery. After that, what was the point? Now I can't even hold my daughter. My daughter is sitting there crying. They're trying to give it to me, but now I'm dazed out because of the medication. And so, of course, that made me extremely upset. That's when I realized I never want to have another hospital birth again. It was so hard for me to grasp the concept of why a hospital who receives plenty of money to make someone feel comfortable having a baby make you feel so uncomfortable. I feel like different races have different options because we're not educated enough or we don't educate ourselves enough. We end up just accepting what someone tells us without doing research or without asking multiple doctors, without just finding out what else can I do besides this one option that's been thrown in my face and told me nothing else can work. their answer will always be no. Because they don't have the equipment if something goes wrong and they're, they're using the scare factor just to make sure at the end of the day, it's all about money. You could go to midwife and a doctor and have your child the same exact way, but who gets more money? So when a doctor knows okay, a midwife is gonna take my bread and butter, he's of course gonna use a scare factor to keep you from going. And most people say, I'm too scared to go to a midwife because I can't do natural. Well, how do you know what you cannot do until it's time? And you will be surprised at the things you can do. You can do. Where's your shoes? She fell off when she was kind of Huh? The American dream I, I don't know what that really means anymore because American Dream in your head you're thinking okay you go to school you become someone of importance and you know you make money you have a family living stability is just right you have the picket white fence that's a dream. Yeah. 
Why are you crying?